We're lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubt in the sanctuary of the Lord to praise you, magnify you, Lord. We're lifting up holy hands. Hello and God bless you. Welcome to your five-minute spiritual checkup. I am Evangelist Kelly Harrison. In 1 Kings 13th chapter, verses 21 through 22, we find the following words. And he cried unto the man of God that came from Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, for as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of the Lord, and hast not kept the commandment which the Lord thy God commanded thee, but camest back, and has eaten bread, and drunk water in the place of the which the Lord did say to thee, Eat no bread, and drink no water, thy carcass shall not come unto the sepulchre of thy fathers. This is from a story of a man of God, and we shall henceforth call him man, and a prophet of God, and we shall henceforth call him prophet. The man was told to go to Israel and speak against the king because he built altars to other gods. Once he was done speaking against the king, he was to return to Judah, not lodging or not eating anything in the land of Israel. The man did just this. But the prophet came and asked him to stay with him. The man said, no, I've been told by God not to remain in this place. But the prophet said, please, and convinced the man to stay with him. Once the man turned back, sat and ate with him, the prophet spoke against him and told him, because of your disobedience to God, you will not be buried with your fathers. That man ended up being eaten by a lion, and his bones were buried in Israel, not Judah. What can we learn from this story? First of all, we must know when we hear the voice of God, and we know that we hear the voice of God. The word of God says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. In other words, we know the voice of God. We will not follow a stranger. Yet, this man followed the directions of a stranger, the prophet. And it led to his destruction. We cannot let anyone, even if they be a prophet of God, even if they call themselves bishop or apostle, no matter who they are, there is no higher authority than God. When God speaks, 
We know his voice. And God will never ask you to do something that is contrary to his word. But you must understand that when God is spoken, it overrides the voice of men, no matter what their ministry. So, let us hear the voice of God and be obedient to his direction. If we don't actually hear his voice, if we read his word, and we know the word tells us to do one thing, but a prophet or preacher or evangelist or teacher is telling us to do something contrary to this word, we will and we must obey and follow God. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this story that was placed in your word to remind us who are alive today that your commandments are important when you tell us to do something we must be obedient to you. We must obey you and not man. Thank you for that lesson. Lord, we ask right now that you search our hearts in any way. If we are walking or behaving or operating contrary to your will and to your commandments to us, we ask that you forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Set us on a straight path and let us acknowledge you in all things so you might direct our path. Lord, we ask as we move forward that you would let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. If you have enjoyed this devotion, please like, subscribe, and comment below so that this gospel may be spread into all the world. God bless you.